Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Congress officially filing impeachment charges against anti-Trump politician. Since we finally have a US president in Donald Trump that actually keeps his promises, it's starting to look like the deep state is about to crumble. And this time with the help of the Republican Party. Deputy U.S. Attorney General Rod Rosenstein announced the latest batch of indictments this week as Trump was busy on a trip abroad. The indictments had to do with the ongoing FBI special counsel probe into Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. Politico is reporting that some Republicans on Capitol Hill are now said to be getting ready to take the next steps needed to begin impeachment proceedings against Rosenstein. Patriot Journal reports that conservatives claim that Rosenstein isn't loyal to this administration and is totally biased in his actions when it comes to how he has drug his feet when it comes to going after biased agents within the agency such as Peter Strzok. Here is more on the Rosenstein saga via Politico. A long-simmering rift between Speaker Paul Ryan and President Donald Trump's Top Hill allies is starting to boil over as both sides fight over an effort to oust Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. The Wisconsin Republican along with retiring House Oversight Committee Chairman Trey Gowdy, RSE, have stifled conservatives' weeks-long push to impeach Rosenstein, who oversees special counsel Robert Mueller's probe of Russian contacts with Trump's 2016 campaign. Gowdy scoffed at the suggestion on national television Sunday. And Ryan, who has long sought to avoid such confrontations with the Justice Department, told reporters Tuesday morning that DOJ is now coming into compliance with congressional subpoenas as part of lawmakers' scrutiny into alleged FBI bias against Trump. But those comments drew a swift rebuke from conservative reps. Mark Meadows, RNC, and Jim Jordan, Republican Ohio, who are leading the impeachment campaign and argue that Rosenstein is slow walking their oversight of the FBI. Meadows told reporters Tuesday morning that Ryan appeared misinformed about what justice has and has not turned over. I can tell you that I guess the Speaker's staff is not fully informing him of what DOJ is actually complying with," Meadows said. Meadows also noted that the House had already adopted a resolution giving the Justice Department until July 6 to turn over the remaining documents lawmakers have requested. While Ryan has said those documents are being handed over, Meadows said that's hogwash. We're still waiting on tens of thousands of documents that many of the people here today have been advocating for a long time," Meadows said. How long do we have to wait? The sniping follows Trump's widely criticized summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin, which has led even loyal Republicans to question his judgment. Ryan allies and top Republicans thought the bipartisan outcry over Trump's refusal to accept his own intelligence community's conclusions, that Russia interfered in the 2016 election, would shift attention away from their own internecine procedural gripes. Indeed, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say it has bolstered the importance of Mueller's probe, which led to last week's indictment of 12 Russian intelligence officers for hacking into the Democratic National Committee in 2016. But Trump's supporters on Capitol Hill are vowing to keep up the pressure on Rosenstein and are prepping an increasingly aggressive push against him for what they claim is his resistance to turning over documents connected to the FBI's Russia probe. All options are still on the table said Jordan when asked about the prospect of impeaching Rosenstein. The Freedom Caucus co-founder argued that we have caught them hiding information from us, and, redacting information that should not have been redacted. He added, if that is not a sufficient reason to move forward, with impeachment, particularly when they are not in compliance with the resolution that was passed by the full House of Representatives two weeks ago, I do not know what is, all options are still on the table. The conservative swipe at Ryan is the latest indication of a deepening split among House Republicans over their posture toward the Justice Department and FBI. Conservatives say Rosenstein is intentionally misleading them, and that he's protecting rogue FBI agents who were out to get Trump, including FBI counterintelligence agent Peter Strzok who exchanged anti-Trump text messages. Rosenstein is really helping destroy what used to be a great Justice Department, so something's got to be done, said Rep. Louis Gohmert. Republican Texas. Now sadly the truth of the matter is that it's a long shot that Congress would actually be able to impeach Rosenstein, so who knows if this is just more political theater or a well-intentioned try. But one thing is for sure, the only person who could put a stop to Rosenstein and Mueller is President Trump, who has the full authority to fire them all at will. If the president does fire them it will bring on a huge backlash from the typical hacks in the Democrat Party and the Renos in the GOP. But it would put a stop to this farce the left is trying to run that the only reason President Trump won the 2016 election was because Russia interfered, which is totally false.
If it was this easy to interfere in elections then Obama would have won in his effort to oust Benjamin Netanyahu as Prime Minister of Israel when he poured half a million American tax dollars into beating him back in 2015. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.